and knock it out quick. Maybe for my happy spot. My happy place. Way to go today. Next time you have some time, just grab a dummy, spinning arm lock. Spinning arm lock. That's right. America. America. Later, Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Um, Johnny, what's up, man? Not much. We have somebody who does this. They grab their wrist when they defend arm bars. Guys, don't do that. I'm going to show you why. Check it out. John's on his back. Um, we're this way, right? Yeah, so first, let me, let me go back just a little bit. We get into the arm bar in our finisher series, talking about south arm is through the loop. I'm in my position here, and I've got my lean. If he does palm to palm properly, you know what's interesting about this? I had somebody, um, we were doing live goes in this position. If you have not done that, that's how you need to train. You can't just roll all the time. You gotta get in the arm bar and then just say ready and go. And then you guys fight for it. So that's how you're gonna get better. Well, the way that I taught you guys in my part one of the finisher arm bar finisher series, what I'm doing is I'm bringing this up this way. You don't have to bring it that high. But once I can get my elbow to go through, I fall this way. This works really well versus the palm to palm grip. So it, it actually works. So as you pull against this, like I'm, you see, watch this grip pop. Like eventually it's going to pop right there and then I've got the arm. But what I had today, and this happens often, usually beginners do this, but occasionally I've even seen good grapplers like with a lot of experience to it. They'll grab their wrist. So, no, no, grab your wrist. Yeah. No, wait, 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 sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Okay, so let's discuss the two. I just grab Let, this? Yeah, let's discuss both options. This is not the option that I'm talking about, but that's okay, let's discuss it. This is bad for the simple reason that the arm that's being attacked is grabbing the other arm. So this is not helping. How is your left arm helping your right arm? Like, go ahead and resist. Like, it's not. It's not helping. See, if I just, all I did was just put some pressure in, it separates. So the, what they do naturally is they, they have their supporting hand grab the attacking arm. And you know, the funny thing about this, as much as I'm telling you don't ever do this in your training, try to erase this from your muscle memory. We use this kind of grip for like guillotines. We use it for seat belts when you're on somebody's back. Don't use it as an arm bar defense. It has terrible strength. But I do have John right here, so John's pretty strong. John could actually probably, like if I was to pull direct, you're pretty strong. I feel that? Yeah, I can hold. Yeah, it's pretty strong. But this kind of, like, you see how, if I just, That's it's weak. just super weak. That's why the pawn of palm is just a better mechanism. You see that? No, no, you, 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 yeah, if you do this one, that's bad, right? Mm -hmm. I'll switch it over. Now you see how you, you bend your wrists? Yeah, see that hooking mechanism? That's what makes you strong, John. It's the mechanism. It's not, I know you got these giant muscles, mm -hmm. but, but, it's this. but it, 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 that's what makes it better. Mm -hmm. But this move is killer versus that. So, but what do you do if you grab your wrist? So when your left hand grabs the wrist, what's funny about that is this grip is a great response to this move. Go ahead and resist, mm -hmm. resist. Yeah. Now look, when I try to go through, you're actually better using that grip versus this attack. So this defense is better than the palm to palm if I do this attack. So why would I tell you never to use this grip? Because you're gonna get wrist locked every single time by somebody who knows. So if somebody does this to you, the move is simple. I don't go on the outside, you could, and try to bend the gooseneck. So this is the gooseneck, see what I'm doing to the wrist? See the goose? So I want to take his knuckles and bend them like this. So as John resists, if I'm going south arm through the loop, I'm trying to do the system here, and John's strong, all I do is I just bring his hand in between the arms, and then my thumb and my fingers raise right up there. See where I'm going? And then you just close over the top, and now his elbow is stuck against my chest, my right hand is through, and there's no way to move your arm anywhere. I'm gonna wrist, I pull it into my chest. It's gonna tap him, tap, tap, tap. okay, right there. Or what's more likely gonna happen, he's gonna freak out and his left hand now has to try to fight this hand. So uh, you're gonna get hurt. Yeah, yeah. No, no, peel my hand off. I'm trying to peel? Yeah, now he forgot about 
his bro. And now his bro gets smashed. So now you gotta deal with this, right? And you're gonna lose. All right, so again, if you have somebody that grabs the wrist when they defend armors, they might be really strong. You wanna attack them where they're weak. If you're doing my method here, no, 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 stay, stay. Okay. No, yeah, see, strong, strong. See, it actually works. I can't, I can't separate like that. No, I just go right there. Oh, you're there. See how quick? Yeah, that's very tight. And you're gonna get it. You're either gonna get the wrist lock, or if he freaks out, he'll straighten his arm too. And then, and then you'll take that. And he'll straighten his arm so that he doesn't get wrist locked, because he doesn't want his elbow stuck against your chest while you do this. Dude, there's no give there. Yeah. So go ahead, try it on me real quick, John. And then we'll wrap this video up. It's, a, it's an easy video, man. Easy. Today we're going super short. Okay. Remember, let's talk briefly, John. What do you think about my palm to palm right now? I'm going to go. This what, is a weak palm to palm. Yeah, it's a weak. So if you were just to go through the loop, let's go south arm. And then if you're just hug near the wrist now, you're going you're gonna to go near the wrist and then fall towards legs and boom, it pops right out. Yeah. Now, why did I say fall towards legs? Because of the way that my hand is palm to palm. See the right hand right here? It's actually kind of, if you were to fall that way. Yeah, I'm giving it, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, going against yeah, you're going against it. So with this, if somebody does this grip, it's just wrong, it's just bad. You just go through and you fall towards the legs and there's, they're gonna lose it, they're gonna lose it. Mm -hmm. So proper is this one. So if you go through the loop, you kind of give that little twist and that lean. Oh my goodness. He's leveraging me and the pressure on my face. And then, it, oh my God, okay. Right there. Yeah. But notice, if you go south arm through the loop and I do this number and you're, if you have a one track mind and you can't adapt and you're just thinking, oh, I'm gonna make my move work. It always works because you were used yeah. to this. You're used to people doing this. Try to try to do the twist and lean. Oh, that's hard. That's you see hard. how hard that is? That's more strength. And, and try to go through with your right hand. And look, oh, it doesn't shit, work. That's way more. No, you just take your hands right in between. Try to go, yes. The, go, this one, correct? Yeah, 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 go through. And then just curl those knuckles back and pull it right into your chest. Go ahead, keep going. You're, do you go thumb underneath? No, there's no yeah. way, huh? Just like that, cover the top of the knuckles. Some guys will try to be tough and here, just release for a second. Some guys will try to be tough with their wrist and they'll try to motorcycle like this to, to make it, dude, it doesn't work. Just go through and get a high on the knuckles, leverage, 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 see that? And now, trap it into position, pull it into your chest. I have two choices, go ahead, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I can either tap or I could try to fight and then you just take the arm, <laughs> see that? Or I could also try to straighten my arm. So if you're pulling the wrist lock, pull hard. Yeah, see, I can straighten the arm and that gets rid of the wrist lock, but, but it doesn't get me doesn't out of the, doesn't get me out of the arm bar. Let's get serious. So that's, a, that's something good to practice. Yeah, guys, don't, don't use this grip. Um, it just, it's a very poor, um, poor grip for separation. This is used, well, really, I don't use my thumb like this. It's, it's like this for guillotine chokes or seat belts when you're behind someone like this. See, this is a good grip. It's a good grip for this purpose. Um, the guillotine, it's a good grip for the guillotine. It's not good for uh, this kind of separation. Um, some people might ask about rear standing, like if you're here, this isn't a bad grip. It's not a bad grip. I, I, prefer, I prefer the S grip or the palm to palm, but this is not bad. I mean, cause you're pulling it in and it's not bad because when he tries to get hip separation, it's actually pretty strong. It's a, not, a, not a bad lock. But other than those applications, don't use it for separation. If somebody's trying to pull your arms apart, it's very poor, all right? You wanna say anything else to the people out No, that's good. You know, that's a good drill to practice to, right from that armbar position, because yeah. that's the hardest part to finish when we get to the armbar, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Like that, that's where everybody's like, oh, I did all this work and then I lose it. Yeah. And, to do the training, to go from the palm to palm, the different yeah. palm variations and grips. And that's why we got to make a series because guys, it's not, I, I wish it was that easy where I could just say, here guys, step one, step two, step three, you're done. You learn these three steps and you separate everybody's arm to, to get the arm bar. It's just not that way because it, it, Jiu Jitsu is more complex. It's a game of, it's a real game of human chess. 
So people are gonna grip differently. It's gonna change the problem. When somebody changes the problem, the answer also changes sometimes. And, and that's also my job as an instructor is to try to simplify it so it's a systematic way of dealing with the problem so that you have, all right, if this happens, then I do this. If this happens, then I do that. But it does get a little messy because they throw a monkey wrench in there. And if you, you gotta have a simple gooseneck. Simple gooseneck wrist lock, psh, nobody, they'll, they'll learn their lesson, don't do this. All right, that's the lesson for the day. Thank you guys so much, Teach Me Grappling. If you wanna be part of our membership, just dropped a new video on the membership, purple belt and above. 10 bucks or more a month, then you guys get to have access to the little bonus footage. Um, everybody who's supporting on Patreon, we still have new supporters on Patreon all the time. Thank you guys so much, we appreciate you, as well as people who donate through PayPal. Appreciate you guys, you guys are the best. Teach Me Grappling 2021, let's do it. Be back for more next time with more great stuff.